Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel. This is a hummingbird tarot and I'm going to be channeling some energy here for you. Um, it is July so this could be happening in July for you or um, just whenever. This is a timeless reading. So let's get some information here to start my beautiful and handsome Tauruses off with their energy. Okay, so you have the equator with to make equal. And home and the earth. And you are earth sign, so really spirit wants you to get in touch with the earth. And you're having magnetism, attraction happening in your life. And the moon with darkness. Okay, so something I am noticing here is um, we have 5 and 10 with the 5 and the 37 and 15 and 7, so 6 and 7. So we are having some progression. You are moving out of a cycle here and progressing. Um, but let's get some more cards here so that we can get the full feeling of this reading. Spirit, what else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? So we have the Observer with 50, another 5. Oh, wow. Okay. So that was crazy. So Spirit has something in that last part of the deck here for you, I'm feeling. That's when it all spilled out. There she is. A long way home. So I'm getting a lot of home energy, a lot about going within. Um, something here is you're trying to find the balance within yourself, within the dark and the light aspects of yourself. Um, and going out into nature, finding balance out in nature is going to be really important for you. Also, um, Really just doing all that you can right now um, to help heal the earth. Um, you know, just as simple as recycling, doing all that you can, um, using less plastic, um, donating your time, your energy to help heal the earth. Um, uh, really acknowledging that this is your home, that you are one with the earth that you were created from the earth. Um, it sounds, I know, kind of cheesy, but spirit is really calling you now to, you know, focus within and how and your connections with yourself, with the dark and the light and um, how you are related to everything else, that you are one with everything else on the earth, that we are all connected. Um, this is leading you to um, bring the things into your life that you are trying to manifest. This is going to draw those things into you. Um, and you've got this really spiritual, um, I'm feeling a really spiritually connected, awakened energy from these cards for you, Taurus. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and read the moon because I feel like there isn't balance. Like you're really right now on this path of not really accepting the dark and in, in the dark inside of you, your shadow self, shadow work needs to be addressed for you. I'm feeling with this to make equal and the darkness with the moon. And there are cycles to everything and a season for everything. Do not push yourself when the tides are against you. Do not be afraid of the darkness, as the darkness is as necessary as the light. Rest and repair the divine feminine 
in all her forms and rising. The time for introversion, stability and planning is here. So yes, I'm feeling a lot of going within, a lot of balancing, but this is gonna bring you wonderful magnetism. See, so you're at this five place, but you are arriving at the 10. So um, at the end of a cycle here, this is this time of going within, this time of reflection, this time of balancing the shadow and the light aspects of yourself are going to bring in beautiful things into your life, the things that you're trying to manifest. Um, so I'm going to also read a little bit more from the book here about to make equal, find the balance in your life. Equality among people is a worthy goal. Um, so there's this humanitarian um, aspect as this, and to this as well. So maybe you are a light worker. I'm feeling like an activist for human rights, for animal rights, for the earth. I'm feeling activism here. Um, is playing a role in what you are drawing in because what you give out, you bring in. Um, you are worth it. Do not compare yourself to others as this, as this is a useless task that only leads to unhappiness. There can be a, a happy medium here. There doesn't have to be extremes. Um, and so how is this relating? Um, I'm feeling like your activism is keeping you in this place of division. And I know that can be hard because I do activism as well. And you see the other side as the enemy. And yes, while they are the enemy, um, we have to um, combat them. Or maybe that's not the best word. We have to face them in an aspect of love the fact that they do not see, that they are not awakened yet. Um, we have to see them as uh, the light within. We have to see, we, we cannot create more division. That's their job. Um, you are the light. So seeing that shadow aspect of yourself, maybe within your humanitarian work, in whatever aspect that you are working now, I'm feeling that you are really a light worker and activism um, for the things that really truly matter, Taurus. Um, but do not create more division here. We have to emanate this unity of um, ourselves with everything else. Um, so with the observer, Spirit is saying, how do you do this? You do this by watching. You do this by learning. You continue the work that you are doing because the work that you're doing is coming back to you here with this attraction and magnetism. Um, but this, this the observer, by watching, by understanding the other side, by observing it, you know, that's how we learn how to move forward uh, with, you know, with our, pers not with our perspective so much as, but you're observing them and gaining knowledge uh, of situations or people um, that will help better fuel you to doing the things that you need to do to create this balance in your life. Um, it's about having patience. It's about having this awareness and focus. So, you know, she's sitting here and the seeds of change are kind of floating off of her here as she's observing and being patient. And this quiet, peaceful, um, observation of what's going on in, in the world and within yourself is um, creating peace because you're sending out peaceful vibrations. It's going to cr create peace here. She's, she's waiting for the perfect moment to take her shot here because, and she's been patient and waiting for that perfect moment. She's going to get something beautiful out of it. Um, strength lies within her calmness here in this 
picture. She lives in the present and doesn't get easily distracted by the things that are moving around her. So she quietly awaits for that perfect shot. So this is what spirit is telling you here. And then with the home card and the earth um, with the home, um, I'm feeling like you are just feeling, you know, you need to connect more with the home, the home within home is wherever your heart is, you know, um, spirit is saying that even if you're a long way from home right now, that your heart is there and you can always get back, um, tap into the memories and perhaps, um, this is a call to the inner child to remember the experience, the passage of time. Um, and perhaps this could be a journey for you to go back to the, your home um, and bring with it all of the memories that you have stored in your mind and all the all of the things that have made you who you are within this journey that you're bringing this home to you now. And that's why we're having this balance. That's why we're, um, you know, you know, I'm thinking here, spirit is saying that this is perhaps this pilgrimage to your own spirit here, a spiritual journey, um, perhaps within um, because this is like a dream. This is a dream. Um, and you're ready, you're, you're ready to plant your anchor down into the world and find your home. But maybe you have been wandering, you've been a wanderer and it's time to place that anchor. But the anchor in your home is the earth itself. Um, so wherever you land, you have come a long way. Um, and wherever you land is where you're going to find your home. And it doesn't matter. I mean, it could be going back to a place where you have been before, going back to your familial home. And it could be it could be any of these things here but you are really finding your home wherever you place your anchor in the earth um cuz really the earth is your home this is anywhere on it so you are a journeyer you are a wanderer you're on this pilgrimage perhaps so um maybe it is time to come home to to yourself to plant your roots finally uh, I'm, f I'm feeling that deeply here in your message, Taurus. This is time to come home, a time to come home, a time to plant a place your anchor and root yourself into something. And that was going to bring that attraction and magnetism to you. What else in love? What else spirit? for Taurus in love, love for themselves, platonic love, romantic love. What is coming to Taurus now for love? Love yourself first, Taurus. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Working on self-love. There's a lot of going within here and learning about yourself and very soon. So once you love yourself first, the energy of new love, a soul connection is coming to you very soon. But you really need to do this self-care, this balancing. Um, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and you've got this magnetism coming to you. So this is very soon, this is happening in your life. Whenever you land in this reading, Taurus, this is coming soon, true love. Yes, 
This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partners you seek, but it's not coming together right now because there's some work that you need to do with your self-love, with taking care of yourself, of really valuing and loving who you are, that coming into balance, that coming home, that anchoring in um, and reflecting on and loving the, the dark shadow self aspect and bringing it together to make it equal the dark and the light within you is bringing this person into your life this person is maybe already in your life but it hasn't been able to blossom yet because you aren't really seeing love within your for yourself or for others so love yourself first beautiful taurus Love yourself first. What other messages here with the tarot spirit for Taurus? Okay, so the death came out first. Knight of Cups. Yes, new love. And adjustment. And I'm feeling for this, this is judgment. This is judgment. So we've got more balance going on here. Oh, not judgment, justice. Hold on, let me see. I'm sorry, these are new cards and I know they've changed some of the names on here. Okay, so I was wrong. It is the chariot, the chariot. So yes, a lot of mo forward motion going on here, Taurus. And defeat with the five of swords. Wow, that didn't shuffle at all. I wonder why. I guess it, Spirit doesn't want me to shuffle. What else, Spirit? The Six of Swords. In this card, it says science, but usually this is about um, coming away from bad situations and the regular Rider Waite Smith. Going back into, uh, going away from turbulent waters into calm waters. Um, but with this science here and the swords going through the cross, um, it's really just, you know, the cross has kept us in the dark ages for much longer. This is what this um, deck is, is about, um, is really negating uh, religion and the negative effects of religion. And then with the Hierophant here, um, that the dark ages have come to an end and enlightenment is here with you. Um, and so then we, we have the Hierophant, which is about challenging old ways of thinking, um, institutionalized ways of thinking, stepping outside the box. So, okay, let's see what all spirit has for us before we really analyze these cards. Emperor, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. So, dear Tauruses, we have this death, um, which is, for me, this resurrection within yourself, this making equal, because with these, I was... I definitely w thought that this was the justice card because of the scales in this and it's about adjusting yourself. Um, so I'm I definitely this to make equal, this coming into balance, this you are 
going through a, a rebirth, a resurrection of yourself. Um, this also could have, for some of you, been a death in the family that caused you to reevaluate, a death of a loved one that caused you to reevaluate everything that you knew was real. And with the Knight of Cups, this energy is coming quickly. This balance is coming quickly with lots of love and passion. Um... And you have adjusted, you have adjusted your mindset. You are coming into a balance here. Uh, the chariot is fast moving energy as well. Um, you could be an, an victorious energy. So this is a time of adjustment for you um, because somebody here is coming towards you and making you feel like you have lost. There's defeat within this Five of Swords. And you know, I'm feeling like this is you feeling like you've been defeated in, in, within something. Um, but this is in your mind. This is a cautionary card about not letting yourself be your own worst enemy. And I'm sorry if any of this is triggering for you, but it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy here going on because you have a, so much love and passion to share and this energy is coming to you quickly and victory here with the adjustment. And this is the chariot here. Um, clarity of mind, moving forward, being victorious. So, and then you're moving away from this defeat here again with the six of swords, moving away from the dark ages, moving away from, um, defeat, literally moving away from defeat into a more, um, clear, concise, scientific um this could be you know you just getting clarity of mind and realizing that this was not the energy that you wanted to be in and more clarity even still here with the hierophant um with, with her with this woman here in the foreground and carrying the sword of clarity um you have moved away from this organized way of thinking, this institutionalized way of thinking. You've set boundaries within that and stepped into your own personal power, very strong. And with that, if you haven't yet, and this is the energy that you're moving into here by going within, by settling down into this home base, by knowing that the earth is your home and wherever you you lay your head is your home where your heart is you are going to have so much love and happiness a family this also could be this this could be the one there also could be some sort of marriage um happening a, a union of two amazing souls here but you have come to a place where you have set your boundaries you know how to say no taurus if you haven't, this is what you need to work on, your boundaries, setting a strong foundation for yourself and what you're willing to accept in your life. Okay, and so with that, I am going to go ahead and pull some more clarity. Spirit, what else? Okay, so five of pentacles with death. Page of Wands with Knight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles with the Chariot. I'm going to be right on there. Queen of Cups with the Five of Swords. So, wow. You've changed this energy completely around. Or you will be changing this energy completely around. 
wherever you are at. King of Wands. Wow. So many court cards. Six of Pentacles. Yes. Four of Swords. And Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Okay. So with this death and rebirth, you are in a place where you felt left out in the cold. Um, you know, this, this was probably some really hard transition that you went through. If this was a death of someone close to you, someone that you love dearly, this made you feel like you had nobody to go to. Um, that you were just really, um, you felt alone in this situation. Um, but with your transformation that happened, you came out of this energy, you came out passionately um, with renewed energy in both emotional and your creative powers, your sacral chakra here, I'm feeling, you know, you just have the ability to see and learn and love and your 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 passion and you were on fire your water and fire energy here emotional and passionate creative energy here um you may have felt this boost after this transformation because that has transformed you and Maybe you have been alone and you have learned to really just thrive in this energy of alone because you were victorious getting out of this energy and you moved through it quickly and became self-sustaining. Um, you learned how to take care of your own garden and um, you really have, you know, this balance here that I'm feeling this balance again here. Um, so you really came into balance with this passionate energy that created you being self-sufficient and, um, this defeat that you were feeling, you came through it with the queen of cups, which emotionally stable, you went through dark times and good times and you've come into balance and you are really, like I said here, maybe this is an energy that you've already come through. Um, but there is still this, this call for meditation and self-care and loving yourself. Um, this is, maybe you have been feeling defeated emotionally still. Yes, there's some defeat in your emotional state here. The queen of cups really values all of her emotions good and bad and looking at these cards over here I'm feeling like that you're having you're struggling with that shadow aspect of yourself and you're feeling emotionally defeated you know you're still but you really have this victorious energy here so this is almost like two energies here that are conflicting this is your potential and this is where you have been remaining stuck. This is the potential that I see within this, but you're having this stuck energy in your emotions. You're feeling defeated still. It's because you need to bring this shadow and light aspect into balance here. You do that by loving yourself, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, the messed up, love yourself, all aspects. So, and then coming out of that, and you're coming out of that here and knowing and learning that you've been in the dark, the, you've been in the dark and but you're coming into the light and to the um into the knowing and with the king of wands you know he has tr he has a passion in his heart and he he got to the throne 
by working hard to get to this place that he wanted to be, he fell down. He messed up. He failed. But he was persistent. And he kept on. He kept on. He was fierce. He kept working at it. And eventually, baby steps got him to the throne to where he was. And this is what you are doing now. I'm really feeling this. Um, because you're going to be in your personal power. You've been comparing yourself perhaps to others. Um, been in this feeling of being left out and defeated. But you have this passion. You have the passion. You have the knowledge. And you can keep do keep trying. Doing these baby steps. Because you will be successful. Um what you have been putting out in the world, even though you haven't felt it coming back to you, is coming back to you here. The balance is returning. You have given, you have worked hard on things, but you may not have felt it coming back to you, but it is, it's coming back to you here with the Six of Pentacles. And the balance is coming back to you. And when you are not, standing in your own personal power, when you're not setting these boundaries, when you feel like you're losing control, the key to this is getting out into nature, meditating, taking care of yourself, loving yourself. Four of wands here, four of swords, I'm sorry. Restful meditation, taking care of yourself, loving yourself here. That's what's going to help you set strong boundaries, Taurus. Because this Ten of Cups energy is coming in quickly. Very soon. Quick energy here. A lot of fast-moving energy here. This could be the one. Ten of Cups. A happy family. Lots of love. Emotional stability is coming to you quickly, quickly. Amazing, amazing Taurus. So what is the outcome spirit for Taurus? What is their projected outcome? Queen of Swords, clarity, speaking your truth, being your authentic, beautiful self. King of Swords, authentic. This is a, this is a relationship here. Divine soul connection, twin flame connection. And I don't really do the swords. I don't do reversals, but this swords came out clearly upside down. The pain, any suffering that you have been through, this is turning around. You have come full circle into this magnetism. Look, it's 10, 10. 37 is 10. Um, we have the 10 of cups. So even though this looks like a scary card, like what the heck? We've got this um, divine counterpart here for you, Taurus. Um, you've come through a lot of disappointment, hurt. There's this transformation going on. You've been left out in the cold. You've been feeling defeated, emotionally drained. This is coming to the end. The blue sky is on top. The swords are coming out of your the swords are coming out of your back. They're falling into the darkness and the blue sky is coming. You are going to be you are going to feel like so relieved. A new a new path is heading is coming to you. This attraction and magnetism is coming to you. The swords are dropping out of your back. And again, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is bringing in new abundance into your life. Whatever that is for you, it could be material abundance. It could be emotional abundance. It could be, you know, a new home. Like I said, the long way home. It's been a long time. That anchor is going to be... Um, grounded into the earth and you're going to put down your roots you have a new home 
abundance is coming to you. So emotional abundance, a new be beginning with your finances, with your abundance in your life. So the, these swords are falling out of your back. The blue sky is coming, that 10 of cups energy. So amazing, Taurus. Um, that is all I am seeing for you now. If you liked my reading, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can get more messages from me in the future. I'm wishing you all the best with this situation and sending you lots of love and light. Bye-bye.